When you take the swivel robot out of the box, you'll see a number of things. There's the robot, of course, but then there's also the charging cord that powers both the robot and the remote. There's an audio cable that's two-sided. There's a lanyard that's used to put the uh, remote control on. There's a couple of clips that can adjust to the size of the device you're putting in. And then, of course, there's the owner's manual. Before you get started, make sure you go to the App Store on your iPad and download the Swivel app. You'll want to sign up with an email so that you'll have space that you can use. It'll send you an email to complete the registration. You just click on the uh, link that they send you. And then Swivel Capture, which is the app name, will be there on your iPad. Now you'll notice when you pull out the Swivel Robot that there's a compartment for the remote control it actually charges in the swivel robot. So make sure that those connectors are in there and that you've got the remote in the right way. The first thing that you'll want to do is to make sure it's charged. So you plug the charging cord into the front of the robot and plug the other side into the outlet, of course. Now again, it charges both the robot and the remote control. You'll also want to put the audio cable in so you plug that in the back and the other end of the audio cable goes into your device. You pull out the remote control once it's charged and make sure that it goes into the lanyard. There's a microphone there on the top and you put it around your neck and that microphone on top then captures your voice so that you don't have to rely on just the device. Carefully put your device into the robot Plug that other end of the audio cable into your device and turn the device on. You'll want to navigate to the swivel capture application. Turn on the swivel robot and you'll see that when you turn it on it kind of tilts your device back and forth to show you that it's on. You can also use the iPad's camera app, or you can use Skype or really anything for capturing video with the Swivel Robot. You'll want to make sure that you're capturing from yourself. Now you turn on the robot and you turn on the remote. Make sure they're both green. Now I've turned around the device so you can kind of see what the robot does. So you can see there I'm putting on the uh, remote on the lanyard and as I write on the board you can see that the robot will follow along with me as I go across. That way whatever the camera is seeing or whatever, wherever you are when you're writing something down or talking the, the robot will follow you around the room so that you're always on camera. Now you can also use the remote to adjust. If you want to go up and down, you hold the action button on the front of the remote. And as you can see, when you hold the remote and track it either up or down, it will tilt up or down so you can make sure that you're being uh, centered in the video. It also has buttons that you can use with the Swivel Capture app to advance the slides and you can use it to actually record your lecture by pushing the record button. Now when you're finished with everything, make sure it all goes back in the case. Hope you enjoy using the robot.